A very good morning, thanks for clicking on to the Monday edition of Bogan's European Outlook. Just came back from Northern Ireland yesterday and certainly the past three days over in the southern portion of Northern Ireland. Weather very different to three years ago when we've seen sunshine day after day and temperatures into the low 20s. This time around it was more gusty winds feeling rather chilly and especially when those heavy showers rattled through. Certainly a much more autumnal feel to the weather. Uh, across the British Isles as we go through the first 10 days of the month and it looks as if we are going to maintain that certainly over the next few days but it looks as if the GFS is indicating that towards the end of this week through the weekend and into potentially next week we could have high pressure settling things down but we've certainly got a very very um, blustery theme today 977 millibar low centred between Orkney and Shetland uh, blustery showers rattling in from the northwest, feeling distinctly raw in that wind as well. But through the day today, we will start to see those winds slacken a little bit, especially across the southern portion of the UK, where we're talking about winds uh, in excess of 50 miles an hour in some places. In the first kind of gales of the season, really, they have certainly came early this year compared to recent years. And you can see here a little bit of a reprieve during the day on Tuesday, but it doesn't rule out the shower activity, but certainly it might be a little bit less windy and a little bit brighter. But then here comes the first real deal of the season, potentially. We're kind of waiting to see if the Met Office will name this thing as Eileen or Aileen. Uh, that would be the first named storm of the season. That system... According to the latest run of the GFS, has the low person pretty much across Blackpool, it looks like. And the strongest winds, therefore, would be across Wales, Midlands and southern portion of England. Gales quite widely, but severe gales on exposed hills and coastlines, I think, less windy to the north of the system. But then the system could track that a little bit further north, taking into consideration windier conditions across southern Scotland and the north of England would be the windiest spot as opposed to Wales and the Midlands and the southern portion of England. So the Met Office has got a yellow bay of wear warning for wind across the north of England and the southern portion of Scotland here. But the GFS looks as if it's taking that centre just a little bit further south. But we are going to see a spell of fairly heavy, persistent, blustery rain coming through as well. Um, but the worst of the conditions always in that southern flank. Once our system clears out, we're going to see high pressure build somewhat. And then we're going to uh, pick up uh, several days of windy, cool conditions. You see the 540 line here uh, pretty much encompassing the UK. So factoring in windy conditions from the north-northwest. Feeling distinctly chilly, we could be seeing the first snowfall over the highest mountains of Scotland. Don't know if we're going to see it further south, but certainly in Scotland, I think we could see that as we push through Wednesday and into Thursday. And we maintain this kind of northwesterly airflow as we go through the remainder of this week. But then, as you notice here, 1030 millibar high centered to the north, to the west, sorry, of Ireland. That is going to start to kind of topple its way in, I think, through the course of this weekend, if you notice that. Could settle things down, but also with a cooler feel, lighter winds and uh, clear skies. We could be talking about the first rural frost for several spots out with the urban heat island, of course. So we'll keep an eye on that. It comes Sunday morning. Then as we go through the day Sunday and into Monday, it looks as if that area of high pressure will kind of try to hold on somewhat, deflecting areas of low pressure away from the UK. Certainly, it is turning stormy through the middle part of the week. It is fairly stormy across the southern portion of the UK today, but then we should start to see a relaxation of that weather, but staying on the cool side as we push through into the weekend. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great Monday, and I'll be back in the next couple of days. Bye for now.